If you look closely, you'll see that's a catch and a stumping. Hello, welcome back to another episode of this career mode. We are into a fourth game of a career, the club game. This is a 50 over game and we are bowling first, playing as a batting all-rounder. If this is the first time you're watching my career mode, I'm playing as a batting all-rounder with the leg spin as a bowling option. And the opponent team, Surinder Nagar in uh, Mumbai, they're 91 for 1. I'm playing for Navi Mumbai, which is a club inside Mumbai. And that's a single here. So good start here, 100 for 1 and oh, missed out on that one, that could have been a boundary there. Steps down the wicket, maybe we can have a slip but it's a bit risky, they're batting well. If we pull one from the boundary, they might go for a few runs. And that's going to be another boundary with the fielding issues that we have in this game. You can, you can see that the fielder is not really reacting to the ball at the boundary or could have been saved. And another lovely delivery. Sweeps it and it's not the greatest of starts so far considering 13 into our second over. Once again through the slip, I think we have already missed a couple of wickets there but that's how it goes in limited rules where you can't have all the attacking fielders in all the time. 118 for one. Oh yes got him, that one was pitched up full and the big wicket and if you remember that is Abdus who has been our bunny in this career mode so far. That's the third time we are getting him. And he goes for a well played 62. Crucial wicket that. And glad I could strike with the ball once again. So even though we are playing as a batting order so far, our bowling has been uh, much more effective. And we are yet to hit a single 50 this season. So we we'll like to like to correct that. 132 for 2 run rate run 5. And this is our fifth over here. And another beautiful and that in fact kept a bit low. Short and wide deserved to be put away there, but just a single. 145 for two. And we are bowling a tight line. Uh, nothing much. The batsman is not doing much. We are bowling in a predictable manner, just around the off stump. Even the batsmen are not taking much risk. So it's a game of attrition so far, oh, that's a boundary, that's a brilliant late cut there and enough room to free the arm. And a slight appeal but it's not out. 228 for 3, back for another spell, it's got him, that's a catch. And if you look at it, that's also a stumping, yes says the umpire. So the second wicket, oh, that was brilliant. If you look closely, you'll see that's a catch and a stumping. Well, that's strange, they have given it to third umpire after giving it out on field. That is strange. Not a good look on the game that. So guys, the game just crashed and I lost that wicket that I picked because apparently uh, there was two two wickets in a similar uh, single delivery uh, catch and the stumping and the game couldn't really process that and just crashed on me when I restarted. Uh, the wicket's gone so... Back to one wicket that is really disappointing. They need to fix these things. Yeah. And the wicket lost for me. Uh, so, well, o overall just a disappointing uh, passage of play there. Just nothing much to say. So, 233 for 3 and we have completed 8 overs. Into a ninth over gets an inside edge. And just a single here. Oh, that will go to the boundary. That's in the gap. And that finishes our ninth over. So it looks like we are done with our spell. And we are coming to bat now. Let's have a look at the scorecard and what we are chasing here. And we are 36 for 3. Another early collapse. We are chasing 286 in 50 over, which is a pretty huge score. Already three wickets down. So let's see how we go here. Uh, we have light cracks on the pitch. Might assist the spin. Green bar, which means we are in good batting form and gets a kind of a top edge, but as a front foot pull shot. In fact, that's off the middle of the bat. Good shot. Well, that's a lovely piece of batting. Good timing in the gap. Another boundary. Good start. Two boundaries in the first four deliveries. Look at that. 44 for three and a single to keep the strike here. Off spinner with the Murlitar in action and... Going outside the leg stump. We'll take a single. 
Nine overs done here. So what I've learned is if you play on the back foot, it's better against the spin. If it's on a length, uh, if you play on the front foot, there's a bug in the game. You sometimes play down the wrong line. So keep that in mind. Tempted pull shot, another wide. Another single. Uh, that's what I was talking about. If you play on the front foot, it has a chance of playing down the wrong line. That's a leading edge. And survives. 66 for 3. 13 overs done. That's in the air. This could be trouble. Mid off coming in. And just about. Just about out of reach. And batting style number 7 that I'm playing with. Because I love the way he, the shots are played with this particular style. It's a lot different than the other styles. So if you are looking for uh, something new from Cricket 22. I, pr I would suggest sticking with batting style number 7. 75 for 4, we have lost another wicket and uh, we have Prasad at the non-strikers end. All these are made up players, mind you. Also for the Renji Trophy, if you guys haven't downloaded the proper team from Waste Your Youth, you will see even more made up players, fake players. So I'd suggest you do that before you start your career mode first. That's a play and a miss. Batting on 16 from 23 now. And uh, it's good. It's not that bad. It's the only problem is that we have lost 4 wickets, so we can't really go after the bowling. This is just how I love to play, building an innings, taking singles, ones and twos, hit a couple of boundaries here and there and then go after the bowling in the end. That is my style of play and it's working here so far. And 89 for 4 now. Target is a bit too far, can't really think of that because the 4 wickets down, we need a partnership. 95 for 4, 20 overs done, that's another single. And moves to 21 from 32 balls. Oh, that's a good delivery. A bit too wide, but play and a miss. Well, that's a misfield. Will allow me to come back for two. Moves to 23. Mushtaq continuing with the Ravi Ashwin action. So we have two spinners. One with Ashwin's action. One with Murlitharan. So fascinating to face them. It's almost like you're playing against international bowlers. Medium pace is back and just what we are waiting for, that's, uh, well, that's my favorite shot. The chip shot over cover, over extra cover and beautiful shot that. Cracked away, that's a late cut, that's another boundary and as I said so often, playing the cut shot is such fun. Uh, when you connect it, it is so beautiful. So, we have some momentum now, batting on 32 from 40. That single will take me to 33. We are 6 wickets down by the way, so the game is almost done as far as the result is concerned. And all I am looking for now is if I can get to my maiden 50. We missed out on the 50 a couple of times in the last few games. Almost a run out there. That's in the gap. No, just, just about getting a single. So batting on 35, I lost 7 wickets now and just throwing my bat at it, gets an inside edge, I think that's what we are going to do now, 7 wickets down, can't really trust the low order batsman, that's another brilliant shot, this is just wonderful batting, so once you get set, you can play all those shots you want to play, it's just lovely, just get set, get your bar to green and then you can just play your shots, there's a lot to like about this game, they can just fix those bugs it could be a great great game and i ran my partner out that was selfish of me wanting to get to that 50 quickly so eight wickets down now and i'm batting on 45 I'm not feeling that good running my partner out but can't really do much about that now that's another single moves to 46 135 for eight the non non striker playing pretty decently is on five from ten so maybe we can trust him Oh, edged and dropped, edged and dropped, another drop catch, we have had drop catches in every single game so far, we are batted, 147 for 8, cuts it and straight to the fielder, one interesting thing that you can notice is that when you are playing with the tail ender, the AI will set fielders on the boundary for the first 4 balls, then bring the fielder up so that they can prevent single, just like in real life cricket, that's something I've noticed in cricket 24 and is really good, the AI awareness. It's really good. 
there you go first half century in career mode not sure why so happy because the match situation is not that great for the team but a solid innings 50 from 58 holding the innings together gets an outside edge this time gets another boundary cheap runs now coming it's a good partnership here uh, the north striker number 10 batsman scoring 20 so far was another slog as just a blind slog not much foot movement and luckily gets another boundary we are getting a few runs here play and a miss 167 for 8 and as a single will take me to 60 and exposes a non-striker here for 4 deliveries so we have lost another wicket 9 down now and uh, just formalities left oh what a shot that is a shot of this entire career mode look at that stand and deliver cuts it to the point for a 6 what a shot wow look at that but I am surprised I played that one and a single here once again the fourth delivery batting on 67 and uh, sweep shot bringing out the sweep shot to oh, and that's it uh, looks like the number 11 is done and we lost this game by 109 run good batting effort for me personally 68 not out from 70 a wicket there could have been two had it not been for the bug but not a good game for my team but personally it's been a satisfying match we'll be back with another episode if you have enjoyed this don't forget to hit that subscribe button until next time it's goodbye from me